sense this paranoia about death. And I don't think it's that scary. I'd prefer just to live forever. Well, I haven't had very many good experiences in hospital. Fancy a nurse was one. Nobody is fascinating when they're sick. Sometimes the disease is fascinating. By the delivery date, I was the so second oldest person in the U.S. to give birth to a child. Medically, of course, it was changing my whole uh, hormonal life, so to speak. I was already in full menopause for five years. Everything is new, in a sense, even for the doctors themselves. As soon as it was born, they left a really long cord attached gestational carrier. I gave birth to my granddaughter, uh, my daughter-in-law and son's first child. I wouldn't like to be embalmed, not embalmed, stuffed. I feel very fortunate, very lucky, feel very gifted to be this way, to um, have been a man for 30 years and enjoyed it. It was not a bad thing. And then hopefully spend the second half of my life as a woman. It's not like I wanted to um, make a change. It's more like an evolution. Where am I? <laughs> You're not supposed to do that in a hospital. This was happening under a local anaesthetic in a half-built house with, with uh, vets' surgical gear. He said, I've got a bit of a problem. Um, the uh, anaesthetic is starting to wear off. So my mother said there are a lot of people alive because I'm not a doctor. so much donate an organ as one went missing.